If you ask me what is the best free and open source grammar checker, I would recommend you Language Tool. It works in all commonly used programs, including Firefox, Chrome, LibreOffice, Google Docs, Thunderbird, and many more. In this video, you will learn how to install and use Language Tool for grammar and spell checking. Language Tool is actually available online. If you go to the website languagetool.org, you will see this online editor, where you can paste your text and check it for errors. Here you can see what languages are available for grammar and spell checking, and you can already see here is an example text which has some errors. If you click on an error, you can see a suggested fix. So I will also copy this text and use it in all my tests during this video. And let's start with installing language tool in Firefox. For that you need to go to add-ons, Firefox and Chrome add-on. But before we install an add-on, let's see how Firefox does spell checking without this add-on. If I paste the text we have just copied, let's make it bigger, you can see there are only two errors which are highlighted so the word detect is misspelled and language tool is also not recognized by the default spell checking in my Arch Linux. But let's install language tool Firefox add-on. You simply need to click add here, add it to your Firefox. So now it is installed. And as you can see, grammar and spell checking has been improved dramatically. And we can start editing from right here. So we change this article, we remove double off, we change not to note. Moreover, it is pretty smart, like here for example you see the date. If we click on it, it tells us that there is an error in the date, because the 27th of June is actually Thursday, but not Tuesday. So you can correct it too. As you can see, this is a pretty good tool for grammar and spell checking. Now let's install language tool in LibreOffice. Again we go to add-ons and click on LibreOffice here. And download the extension for LibreOffice. Save the file. Also pay attention that you have Java 8 or later installed on your system. This is the requirement for language tool to work correctly. Then you go to LibreOffice. Again here I pasted the same text. And as you can see it already has language tool installed so all the errors are highlighted here, because I don't know what system you use, but in Arch Linux, if I go to extensions, language tool is actually already installed. And if I click here, bundled with LibreOffice, you can see that language tool is already bundled with LibreOffice. So in my case, LibreOffice has language tool built in, and it checks everything correctly. In case you don't have language tool installed in your LibreOffice, you can click add here, and select the extension you have just downloaded and add it to LibreOffice. But I won't do it because I already have language tool installed in my LibreOffice. And again here if you click on any word, you can select the correction. You can also go to tools, language tool and click check text. And it will show you all the mistake it has found and suggest a correction. For example you can ignore this one. Ignore this one too. Language tool, yes, we will ignore. Or we will replace. Click correct. We will add language tool to the dictionary. Here we again need to correct an article. And so on and so forth. Until you correct all the mistakes in your document. Now let's install language tool in Google Chrome. Again, here I have pasted the text. I copied from languagetool.org with few mistakes. As you can see, it has found only two spelling mistakes here. But if we go to language tool and install from extension, as you can see, all the mistakes have been found, and you can start correcting them here, similarly to what we have done in Firefox. You can install language tool for grammar check in Google Documents too. For example, you again see the same text with the same mistakes but only few of these mistakes have been found in Google Docs. So let's see how it will change if we install language tool extension. 
you go to languagetool.org to Google Docs and click on Install from Google Store and add Language Tool to your Google Docs. Click Continue here. Select an account you want this language tool to be associated with. Give permissions for this tool to use it with Google Docs. So now it is installed. Let's refresh this page. Go to Add-ons and click Check Text. Now you see all the errors have been found and are shown here with suggestion how to fix them. This is pretty nice here because you can read the suggestion and explanation of an error and if you just click on the suggested fixed, it will be fixed automatically. This is pretty handy if you work with Google Docs a lot. Let's install language tool into Thunderbird. If you don't know, Thunderbird is an email client. Again, we go to add-ons. Here we need to click on more. See list of add-ons. And among all these applications here, we need to find language tool for Thunderbird. And we download the extension. If it happened to you that it is in German here, don't worry, just click to download it. And save. Next, go to Thunderbird. Go to the menu. Add-ons. Here, in the preferences, you can select install add-on from a file and select the file we have just downloaded. Install now. After the installation, click to restart Thunderbird. And let's test it. I have pasted the same text here. As you can see, by default, it highlights only a few spelling errors, but if you click here on grammar, it will show you much more errors down here. Unfortunately, in Thunderbird, you cannot just click to automatically correct the error, but it shows you all the errors here, so you can manually correct them in your email. If you know the way to enable automatic correction with a click in Thunderbird, let me know in the comment section. And as a final word, I would like to say that if you have checked this list, you can see that language tool is available for really many applications. For example, if you use Emacs Text Editor, you can install language tool for it too. If you write in LaTeX, you can install language tool for leaks. I know many people use Vim, so you can install language tool for Vim. You can also use it with Sublime Text Editor. If you code in Visual Studio or VS Code, you can install language tool in these programs too. So I believe language tool should be available for most of the programs that are commonly used. It is pretty good too and I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching.